Today's rum cocktail that I'm going to show you how to make is probably the most famous rum punch recipe out there. This is the reggae rum punch, most popular in Jamaica, but you can't make it without your big, beasty, overproof Jamaican unaged rum. Hey rum fans, welcome back to the channel. But for those of you that are new around these parts, hello, welcome. My name's Steve the Barman, and right here on this red channel, this is the channel dedicated to showing you how to make all those big, famous rum cocktails. That's all it is on this channel, showing you how to make cocktails in, out, get done, get out very quickly. So if you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But don't forget, I've got five other YouTube channels, all with their own specific niches, attracting different audiences. So go and check those links out in the description below. So the ingredients you're going to need to make the reggae rum punch, let's go back to front this time. Uh, orange juice complete with bits. You need bits. Bits in orange juice is just the best thing. 100% uh, pressed pineapple juice. I know in the US you get sweetened and unsweetened. Here in the UK we get pressed and from concentrate. So our version of your unsweetened is the pressed. That's just like six pineapples in a litre. Every supermarket here in the UK sells that. So 100% pressed. Lime juice. A really good strawberry syrup. I love ODK for this because this is really vibrant in strawberry without being excessively sweet like some of the other syrup brands. So I'm a big fan of the ODK for this. And then your white overproof Jamaican rum. Now you could faff around with rum fire. I know there's going to be some people that go, oh, rum fire is so much better. You could go rum bar. But let's be brutally honest, 99% of you that go on to make this cocktail are simply going to use Ray and Nephew. And why flipping not? It's flipping tasty. So nice and easy measurements, this one. 45 mil, one and a half ounces of your orange juice. 45 mil, one and a half ounces of your pressed pineapple juice. 15 mil, half an ounce of lime juice. 15 mil, half an ounce of your proper vibrant strawberry syrup. I know I've said it before, but this thing just tastes like proper, proper ripe and juicy strawberries. I flipping love this ODK stuff. And then your final ingredient is 45 mil, one and a half ounces of the 63% monster that is Ray and Nephew. Now look, if ever there is a cocktail that needs to go into a tiki glass, it was this one. But the feedback from you lot is you always want a glass so you can see the colour and stuff. So just open gated pour, shake and dump into your tiki glass. And then to garnish, I've got a couple of pineapple fronds and a big old Larry Lily. Look at that. By the way, before you panic, that is a fake Lily. See, so look, this isn't complicated. There's no random ingredients in there. But the one thing that this does not lose is that big, funky Jamaican white unaged overproof rum. That makes this cocktail. And I dare say, look, you could even swap the orange juice and the pineapple, go crazy with the exotic juices or passion fruit juice or something like that. Just swap that out. But that combination of orange and pineapple with that Jamaican, that Ray and Nephew, but look, go rum fire or rum bar. But, you know, I know most of you go Ray and Nephew. It's just fun. It's just delicious. You know you're drinking it. <sighs> Cheers.